Hi, I'm Nikki Trevorrow, Behaviour Manager at Cats Protection. In this series, I'm going to take you through some of the common behaviours you may see in your cat. With the help of Beryl here, I'll attempt to explain what the behaviour is, why your cat is doing it, and give you some understanding about how it develops, and most importantly, what you can do about it. First off, the most important thing if your cat behaviour changes is to take them to the vets to rule out any medical reasons. It's important to do this first before looking at behavioural reasons. It's vital you describe the behaviours to the vet and the context in which they're showing, rather than trying to explain why your cat is showing that behaviour. If your vet gives your cat a clean bill of health, then we can start looking at behavioural reasons in more detail. Your vet may refer you to a qualified behaviourist, such as a member of the Animal Behaviour and Training Council. It's really useful to keep a diary of your cat's behaviour and look at the context so you can watch out for any patterns. In particular, look at your cat's ear position and also their pupils, whether they're constricted or dilated. This all helps to piece together the emotional state of the cat and understand the underlying motivation for their behaviour. We will look into some specific behaviours in more detail in this series. If there's one thing to take away from these videos, it's that cats are not random and everything happens for a reason, even if it's not always obvious what that is. Thank you.